have a cute messy bun tutorial for you. So there's a couple of different options and a couple of different tools and things like that that you can use to make it look really cute and really glam and just still really relaxed and really chill. So hopefully one of them will work for you and hopefully you stay tuned. Okay, so starting off with your messy bun, some things to remember are first, Messy buns are like snowflakes, like no two are alike, and it's sort of, you just kind of can't care about it. You just have to kind of put it up and not care if it looks different than it did the time you did it before. So that's one thing. And the other thing is, like the weirder or messier or curlier or kinkier your hair, usually the better your messy bun looks. So um, if you have, so I usually, when I'm doing it, I usually have like five day old hair, so it's like getting pretty nasty. So. Um, one thing that I do to add a little bit of volume and a little bit of texture when I'm doing a messy bun is I use um, some dry shampoo. This one is my favorite. It's Tresemme, but whatever. There's tons of dry shampoo, so um, I would definitely suggest using it because whenever I have um, a messy bun with dry shampoo, it's always really cute, and people are always like, oh, how'd you do that? And I'm like, oh, it's just gross and dry shampoo, but whatever. But so my hair right now is pretty clean. I washed it yesterday, slept on it. I have some mousse in it, so it has some some good body, but that's about it. So, um, the first thing with your messy bun, you need elastic. <laughs> Got it. But anyway, so I would use like a pick or like a toothy comb, or if you have like one of these, this is first what you're gonna want to do is just wrap or not wrap or like just back comb the crown of your hair, just right through here, where you know your pony is going to be. That's just like the only place I really do it. And then I just pull it all up. And then this is where you're gonna need like a big toothy comb or like a pick because you don't really, when you're doing a messy bun, you don't really need to have this perfect. Like even if you have weird bumps, it's kind of okay. Like just as long as they're not gigantic looking at weird bumps. But a wider toothy comb and a pick is going to give it still like that casual look without it being like too perfect. Like if you were to use a comb or something like that. And then I do my ponytail like on the top of my head, like on the crown, because I feel like messy bums are really cute when they're like more on the top of your head rather than further back. So, okay, so I put it in a ponytail like that. And then you're gonna want the bulk of the bun to be in the Front rather than the back. I guess this is kind of more of like a top knot bun, but what I do is I, I hold this forward, like I twist it forward, so I'll grab that and twist it, and wrap this around, and then this is my trick right here. So hold that right there, and stick your two fingers in through here, grab your ponytail, so it's like all in like one hole, and put your ends through the elastic, and then put your ends through that hole. So, and then you can kind of spread it out. Like even just like that is really cute. Or like if you want these ends to be like a little wild and crazy, you can like pull them out more. But the good thing about having the ends through that ponytail like that is that you can tighten it or you can loosen it and it will stay secure. And then you don't really need any bobby pins. If you want some bobby pins to secure it, you can. But um, yeah, so. And I can show you like from the back. So that's just like one way that you can do like a really cute messy bun. But oh, another trick that is really cute is just pull these like little side bangs out. I feel like that makes a huge difference. That one's kind of long. Sometimes I cut them. I, was, I don't even care because I feel like I have lots of layers by my face. But I'm not saying you should do that. But some, if you want to, I. It's okay. Or if you pulled out too much, just with the bobby pin or just like tuck it back in. So, bam, there's one way. So another way that I do another messy bun, and if you want more volume, you can always put an extension in. And so I have a little extension guide that I made. It's like four wefts on top of each other that I sewed together and then sewed a clip on. Because my extensions are from Sally's and they're one like really big long weft. Longer than that, they're like whew, long and I just cut them into pieces and then put clips on them. So this was like an extra little tag along guy, but he's perfect for ponytails. So what you wanna do 
is wherever you're gonna put your ponytail, separate your hair. And then the trick to this is put it in upside down. So put it in like this, rather than like putting it in this way and having it flip. This way it's going the direction that your hair's going in the way that you want it to go. So then pull all of your hair up. Another ponytail. And then if you do it right where your ponytail is, no one will see it and you don't have to worry about your weft showing all day and people will see your extensions and stuff like that. It's just easy to put it right under where you're gonna put it on. Okay, so this next way that I do a messy bun is what I do is I, the last time that I'm putting my hair in a ponytail, I only pull it through like halfway. And then I separate these pieces right here. And I'll bring this one to the back and tuck this one into like a pony right there. Leave some of the edges out. And then this one, I tuck into the front and so it'll pull the edges out the other way. So then they have cute little fuzzy wuzzies. And then pull your bangs out. And then that's a cute way to do it too. So, and then it's kind of like, kind of like more dimensional that way. And then you know the back is covered and it's just more around that might be like a cute updo. Oh I have a weird little Jinko Winko thing. So I just get my pick and I just kind of comb it and I just like tuck it in underneath that and then it fixes it. So there's another way. And then another way that I do a cute messy bun is this one's like a little a little bun. It's not like a big old fat bun on the top of your head or anything like that. It's a little bit Littler, but sometimes I think it's cute. It kind of like reminds me of like a little ballerina. It has like a tight little bun. So I just do it on top of my head. Again, this time I only pull it like halfway through. And then I just like keep wrapping it. And I'll just tuck it in. Like that, and then I have like a cute little messy bun like that. And then Again, just pull out some bangs. You can shape it like if you feel like some parts are too too tight. Again, just don't care. You just can't care about it. Just make sure that you feel sophisticated and you still feel like you're looking like put together, but you just can't worry too much about it. So, bam, there's another one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you do a messy bun, take a picture of it and tag me in it on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye.